Hey friends, happy Friday. Uh, today we are uh, finishing the first chapter of the book of Jonah. And uh, Jonah has gotten himself into a boat. and uh, But instead of obeying God and sailing to Nineveh, he is sailing in the opposite direction to a place called Tarshish. Uh, but God loves Jonah too much to let him uh, get off the hook that easily. And so God sends a storm, a massive storm, uh, to, to catch up to them uh, in their boat at sea. And so the sailors on the boat are, are you know, freaking out. They're afraid for their lives. They're crying out to their pagan sailors. They're crying out to, you know, their gods. And nothing's happening. And so Jonah, of course, is asleep on the boat. And uh, so the sailors wake him up and they're like, you know, hey, help us. You know, why don't you cry out to your God um, and help us out and um, help us, you know, s stay alive. And this scene kind of reminds us of a, of a scene that would come much later when Jesus was on the boat with his disciples in the Sea of Galilee. And another storm came and, and Jesus' disciples thought they were going to die. And so they wait, Jesus is asleep on the boat and they wake him up and they're like, don't you care? We're going to die. Do something. And of course, Jesus stands up and tells the sea to be quiet. Um, and so we might think that they're different stories because Jonah says, you know, you've got to throw me into the sea, you know, and, and then you'll live. If I die, you will live. Um, and of course, we know that that's actually the same story as the one that we know is true of Jesus too. Jesus ultimately had to give his life. He had to die in order that we might live so that we could be saved from the storms of this life, sickness and death and sin and all that is wrong with this world. Jesus made it right um, by losing his life so that we could be saved. Um, and so it's a very ironic scene though in Jonah, uh, in the story where the sailors seem to be you know, crying out to God and Jonah, who says he fears the Lord, is running from God. And so it's a strange scene. Uh, it reminded me of a time when I was in high school. I was working at an auto parts store and uh, I, I was expecting a promotion that didn't come. And um, my one of my bosses, my, my favorite boss, um, was transferred to a different store. And it was just a time where things were not going like I wanted them to. And I was frustrated and, um, and I was disappointed. And I remember one of my coworkers was like, have you prayed about it? And he knew I was a Christian. Uh, he wasn't, you know, but I don't know. I think he was trying to encourage me and was just asked if I had talk to God about it. And I was like, no, actually I, I haven't. Um, and it surprised me. And I think there are, are, uh, are times in our lives where we as Christians, uh, are maybe struggling or we're going through the storms of, of life. And sometimes, you know, whether it's like Jonah, we're intentionally running from God, uh, or maybe it's just because we're drifting, you know, we just sort of fade and things happen and we just forget. Um, but sometimes we need to be reminded to cry out to God that he's there, he's listening, he's near. And sometimes that reminder comes from a place we don't expect. And so, uh, what is that like for you? Uh, have you had times where, you know, you're just, you're either running from God or you've forgotten and you need that reminder. And maybe this, uh, reading in this story of Jonah will be that reminder to you that God is, he's there and he loves us and he'll do anything to show his love for us. Um, even, uh, giving his only son for us. And so I hope that's encouraging to you today. See you guys. Bye.